Typically with Theme Thursday, we start out with a little bit of the overture of the theme. And I want to take just a minute to give you a little bit of insight into the, the focus theme. For those of you who, who have studied this theme, um, some of the things that you know about focus is it has a single-mindedness to it. It has that goal orientation to it. Uh, when I think about focus, I think about a light at the end of the tunnel and the ability to follow those tracks toward that goal. Um, and even if you might get pulled off occasionally, it's the ability to get back on track quickly and continue the pursuit of the goal. Um, as we define focus through the Clifton Strengths Finder, people exceptionally talented in the focus theme are people who take direction, follow through, and make the necessary corrections to stay on track. They're excellent at prioritization. Um, but it's not just prioritizing, it's also taking that action. So I'm excited for us to hear Jim help us explore that today. Um, people with focus think about goals being their compass. Um, the, that compass helps them figure out what ought be my priorities. And, and if I need to make an alteration to that set of goals, I'll do so or to stay the course. Um, focus becomes powerful for, for individuals because it allows them to filter, to sort, um, to mentally organize perhaps. Um, and, and I think about people with focus having kind of that instinctual ability to evaluate everything that they do to say, gosh, if I do this, does it take me one step closer to my goal or not? And I might choose what I do accordingly. Um, in the end, people with focus tend to be efficient because that, that ability to prioritize makes sure we're doing what's efficient and effective. Um, I love having people with focus on my team um, because that single-mindedness enables people to kind of speed up what they do and the quality of their performance and it helps keep us all on track. So when you think about the power and edge to focus, um, if people are starting to go down different paths or you know taking different approaches, the focus can get people back to the main road. Um, they help the rest of us avoid time-consuming distractions that might not really be of value in the long run. So when you see focus in action, those with focus around us, um, they're the people that take that direction, follow through, correct and stay on track. They prioritize, then act. Um, they set goals that help them be effective and efficient. There's perseverance sometimes with focus. It's that ability to stay with something for a long period of time and sometimes maybe even lose yourself in timelessness while pursuing a goal. Um, and people with focus also tend to instinctively have that ability to honor timelines and commitments. Um, so they're well aware of the due date or the, you know, the goal date um, and pursue that as they make their way through. I oftentimes think about people with focus describe themselves as being very inten intensely and intentionally single-minded. So it's I'm going to pursue this and that's going to be my goal and I'm not going to let other things take me off track. They will persevere until the goal is reached. They bring to the team a sense of clarity because of their concentration and their, their focus on direction. Um, and, and they need a goal in order to establish their priorities. Um, focus will claim to love starting with the end in mind. So uh, the focus person is better off when they know where we're headed in the long run before I start taking my first steps in the journey. Um, if you want to drive your focus friends a little bit crazy, try just going off on tangents. That will get them fired up. Um, and, and oftentimes your friends with focus will be the people that you describe as being in a zone. They get in a zone and they kind of love their time when they're in their zone. So Harder, I'm cur curious to hear some of your zone moments. Um, I always feel compelled that we have to share a little bit about the barrier labels. So when I think about the, the barrier labels that people with focus oftentimes will report, they talk about sometimes um, I can be that, that person who's you know, intense. Sometimes people view me from the outside as stressed out because of my focus. Um, think I have a tough time relaxing or I'm rude in what I'm doing. Um, one one client this morning mentioned to me that that she really has put this on her on her mirror, you know, in a couple of places where she she frequents to remind her that the destination 
My focus on the destination may limit my enjoyment in the moment um, or the enjoyment of the journey. And I think that may be for some people with focus. There's such intentionality and intensity around the goal that at times we, we aren't in the present and really relishing um, that moment. But I always think about with focus, um, one of the things that a person with focus might say is I have a goal, where a person with futuristic might say, hey, I have a dream. Um, and focus will usually say, I have a goal I plan to reach. A person with discipline says, I have a plan to reach my goal. So um, when I think about focus, I have it myself. Um, Jim Harder, you lead with focus in your top Five, it's number two for you. Um, when we think about the themes and the combinations of themes, what shows up most frequently, mo least frequently, it was interesting to me as I studied your 34 theme sequence, um, you have Achiever at number one, which is the most likely theme we find pairs with focus. So you're very typical and normal. So just to reassure you in case you weren't no. feeling normal today, um, <laughs> least likely to pair with focus is the talent theme of connectedness. Um, also pretty unlikely would be adaptability, belief, or context, and, and a couple of those are, are lower down on your list. So um, just, just always interesting to see. Um, I'm always looking for that person that might have one of those least likely along with you know the focus to find someone who has connectedness and focus together would be fascinating to those of us who coach strengths. Um, but with that, I think, um, gosh, that's a, a little bit about focus. 